Episode 3. Yusuke has been given his ordeal to get his body back. Uh, <clears throat> this is episode 3 of Yu Yu Hakusho. And Yu Yu Hakusho Abridged. And this one came out about... Little over a week after the previous one. Yeah, May 8th, 2007. Uh, currently sitting at 486,804 views at the time of this recording. And uh, 4.7 thousand likes. Again, almost almost 1% of people decided to give that a thumbs up. That's I don't know how that is in terms of metrics. I don't know. Let's try to beat that metric on this video. See, see if we can get more than 1% of people that watch this to give it a thumbs up or something. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the rest of them all thumbs it down. I can't, I can't tell anymore. But yeah. Uh, again, it's been so long since I've watched any of these. Like I, I, I went back through episode one twice recently, and then we just watched through episode two. But uh, almost all of these, I forget... Almost every joke I have ever made in this. Uh, so it, it's actually been kind of interesting to go back and look through and see what has become. Like what what I thought was funny back then and what enough people to continue watching to make me produce these found funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's roll in and see what I found funny and see if I grew as an editor in uh, what would be my longest episode to date at that point at almost eight minutes. Another cold Man, open. how long is this thing going to take to hatch? Dumping all my good energy into this thing is really tiring, you know. Well, Lord Kawinma did say it would take a little while. And what do you mean, good energy? All we've been doing is stalking Keiko. Stalking, protecting, same difference. Besides, there's not a lot I can do here. I'm a ghost. Oh, you're just afraid she's going to leave you for somebody else. <laughs> Shut up, Botana. Eek! Look out, Eek! Yusuke. Those guys are pushing her around and treating her like dirt. Looks like you have some competition after all. Brutes! Hey, baby, wanna be scarred for life? Oh, hell no, they don't! Eat fist! That's the huh? karate punch. Oh, yeah. The ghost thing. Come on, you wanna play doctor? Well, this sucks. Hey, you Dude's masked up, but he has it under the nose. I lived through 2020. I know those assholes. You know those assholes. You! Hands off the girl! Oh, God, tell me it's not him. And just who the hell are you? That's right, Kuwabara. My name's Kazuma Kuwabara. And I'm the star of this episode! Fuck yeah! Oh, hell no! Kick your ass, here to Tiananmen Square. Oh yeah, motherfucker, I'm gonna kick your fucking derriere, yeah, yeah. You broke the rules, now pull out all your pubic hair. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Aw oh, man, I can't believe this. Can't believe what, Yusuke? I've only been dead for two days, and I'm already being replaced? What the hell? Would you rather Keiko be in the hands of those thugs? Kuwabara's I'll get back to you on that. I do love that Kuwabara does get this time to shine early on in the show while Yusuke's dead, because, you know, Kuwabara's been getting his ass kicked by Yusuke for years at this point, so these guys, they ain't got nothing on Yusuke, so... Kuwabara just... Oh, come on, Yusuke! Let him develop his character a little! Why? He's almost completely useless. I mean, come on. He's only around to make me look better. I mean, look at him. He can't even beat up those thugs without his stupid goons. Why do I have the sudden urge to re-kill your Emeshi? Oh, well, at least we can follow him around and watch him screw up. That'd make me feel better. Why would him screwing up make you feel better? The Germans call it schadenfreude. So let me get this straight. I had recently heard of Avenue Q. Actually, I think this was because of my psych professor. One of the classes that I really loved in high school, probably the one that uh, I enjoyed the most, was my psychology classes. In fact, if I hadn't become like an actor, psychology would have been one of those things that I kind of fell into. Uh, it actually might be why I enjoy acting so much. I love trying to understand the human mind and how it processes things and how it uh, reacts to the world around it and how every single one of our brains is kind of like fundamentally programmed the same, but all 
uh, wired completely differently. It, it's really fascinating to me, just like the sheer amounts of uh, different types of cognitive. It's hard to it's hard to really put into words. I don't know. I just find psychology immensely fascinating. I, I read a lot of psychology books just kind of in my spare time. Straight. You idiots are an hour late because you got into a fight. Um, yeah. Jackpot. Well, I suppose I should give you some inane moral test in order to make me look like an ass and have you prove yourselves to any following spirits of former rivals you may have. Very specific. Let's see. I got it. You're not allowed to fight for an entire week. And you must make more than 50 points in our next test, which is still technically failing, but we have very low standards here. I, I am pretty sure the not allowed to get into a fight for an entire week is actually the thing. When it's like, you shouldn't be getting into a fight in general. But instead, they just give them this weird bullshit pro, like probation period of like, hey, hey, no shenanigans for a week. You got it? All right. If you don't, then you're all expelled. Oh, and Akuba loses his job, too. It's the fat yeah, one. Yeah, but I just got promoted to fry cooker. He's a fry cooker. You can't cooker. do that. It's an American. I remember, actually, because uh, at this point, I, I had actually started talking more to Vegeta3986. Um, I probably would have talked Moscow more as well, but Moscow's in England, so time zones and all that. But uh, he and I would converse more often. He fucking loved that line. Uh like, we, we would just, like, kind of, like, gush over each other's work for a while. He's a cool dude. Welcome to Japan. Everything's fucked up here. Damn it. You got me there. Let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> no, no child left, left behind, behind my, my ass. ass. Well, guys, I'm going to go home and study for tomorrow's test. I'm going to take this way back to save time. See ya. Uh, Kuwabara, doesn't that path lead right past those guys we just beat up? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure they've forgotten by now. Wow, is he really that stupid? Yes. Yep. Man, he sure is taking his sweet time. What the hell? Honestly, does this guy have anything better to do than to chase kids? Is he some sort of pedophile or something? Well, that would explain a lot. What am I in trouble for this time? You're a messy, are you a Marvin Gaye fan? Uh, I think I should go. Don't be silly, you're a messy. Come on, I have popsicles. Uh, no, really, I gotta go. Hmm, I'm gonna go back to repressing that. <laughs> and they said- I mean, to be fair, the teachers in Yu Yu Hakusho were kind of the fucking worst. But yeah. <laughs> Those child-stalking classes were a waste of money. Oh, the irony. You damn fool, there's nothing ironic about this! Huh? Oh crap, it's a setup! Hey, you coward, get back here! Okay. Wow, can't believe that worked. <laughs> now go ahead and beat me up. I actually like that bit. Oh no, I gotta get out of here! Get back here! Okay. I, I definitely would have timed it differently now. But that holds up. I, I, I dig that. I, I'm, actually, I'm actually very proud of young me for that. Yeah. But leave my friends alone! You got it? No, no fucking way. way! Trust us, that won't be a problem. See, the problem for Kuwabara uh, is... Spleen. Even though he doesn't fight back... He's still going to show up with, like, a lot of lumps on his face and stuff, which means that you could arguably say he got into a fight based on that evidence. I don't know. The, the, the whole, like, it shows that Kuwabara is a very noble character on one hand, but on the other hand, he's, he's still very dumb. Oh, good. Well, at least he's doing what he does best. Man, he sure has a lot of blood. <laughs> he has. Man, I really have to find something better to do with my free time. Maybe I'll take up knitting. Why isn't somebody stopping this? This bores me. Let's go, guys. Oh, thank you, merciful God. Go home. Well, at least now all he has to do is study until he's not completely retarded. What the hell are these things? He's doomed. See spot. See spot run. run. See what I mean? Run. Look at him. The guy can hardly See read, spot, let alone pass it. a test. What the hell? Then why don't you help him out after he falls asleep tonight? You're kidding. Wait, I actually kind of missed that. See spot run. See run, what I mean? Spot, Look run. at him. The guy can hardly see, read, spot, let alone pass dick. a test. What the hell? Why don't see spot chase dick. Huh. Don't you help him out after he falls asleep tonight? You're kidding. Why the hell would I do that? All right, if you really want to face the consequences. Hey, Kuwabara, I copied the answer key for you. 
You're a messy. What the hell are you doing in my head? Shut up and memorize. That better have been worth it. Hey guys, I say we randomly ambush the next guy that crosses our path. Well, that one's good enough for me. Yeah, get him! Oh, god damn it. That's it! Bring it on! Yeah! Damn it, how do I keep forgetting? A very good question. One that I. <laughs> like, Yusuke continuously forgets that he is a ghost. Twice this episode, he has forgotten that he is a ghost. Like, totally, lol. Did you just say lol? Get out of my way! OMFG! Ugh! Hmm, I suppose I could use her body as long as it means I get what I want. Makes perfect sense. Uh, um, are you okay? Get out of my way, bitch! Um, okay, I'll just wait here. Eat this, you douchebags! How does it feel to be beaten up by a possessed girl? Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, it happened again! <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, too. <clears throat> I do love that Yusuke can, like... It's not just the fact that Yusuke is strong. He just, he has innate technique that allows him to kick the shit out of people. Like, he's able to use her frame to beat the shit out of those three guys. Yusuke is, Yusuke is probably one of my favorite pro tags out there in anime. If not my fave. Definitely S tier. Come on, Kuwabara, hurry up, you idiot. That's it! 2 plus 9 equals 11! <laughs> Good for well, you, Well, how'd you do, Kuwabara? How the hell should I know? I just took the damn thing. Let's see. That's right. I made that joke because at the end of the, like, they, that that's how that scene goes. They walk up to him. Hey, Kuwabara, how'd you do? And I'm just thinking to myself, how the hell would he know? He just took it. They have not graded it yet. I mean, he could be confident in his ability, but he still doesn't know. See, whose life can I ruin now? Hey. What? No f***ing way! How the hell did he get more than 50 points? Damn it! Now my plan that I've never spoken of, and shall never speak of again, has gone right down the drain! You mean it? I really passed? Hell no! You only got a 50! But that does cover our deal. But don't think this is over, Kuwabara! I'll be back! For you and your friends! Okay, whatever. Go away! Wait, hold on! I forgot to give this to you! What is it, you fool? Oh, uh, mommy! It's not a fight if you don't fight back! At least the creepy bastard got what was coming I to guess. him. And you got some good deeds in! Hey, yeah. So how long do you think it'll take to get my body back? Oh, I'd say another week or so. Give or take. Huh? God damn it. Now to cap it all off with the obligatory respect ending. I'm waiting, Yuramishi. Go f*** yourself, Kuwabara. You bastard. And Bastard. so, another crisis is averted. But how does Yusuke get his body back? Find out sometime on Yu Yu Hakusho. Abridged. Give me back my body! I want to get to the punchy bits! Get around, around you lads and lasses, set you for a while! And a hard to be mournful tale about the Emerald Isle. Let's all raise our glasses high to friends and family gone, and lift our voices in another Irish drinking song. Consumption took me mother and me father got the pox. Me brother drank the whiskey till he wound up in a box. Me other brother in the troubles met with his demise. My sister has forever closed her smiling Irish eyes. Now everybody's died, so until our tears are dried, we'll drink and drink and drink and drink and then we'll drink some more. We'll dance and sing and fight until the early morning light, then we'll throw up us out, wake up, and then go drink and once again. Hey! These days, the Kuwabara voice is not as much of a pain in the ass on my throat. Like, I could do this for a while now, <laughs> uh, but that's just after years and years of fucking up my voice by screaming really loud in similar voices. <laughs> uh, I probably have calluses on my courts. Later!